Anyway, so today I'm going to do a quick video on my diamond painting, my peacock, and answer some questions and to go over some tips that I have. So the first is people have asked me where I've gotten this, and I got this off of AliExpress. Um, it's shipped from China and from the Mian store, which is spelled M-E-I-A-N. Um, they're pretty well known. Um, they have a lot of reviews, which are good, and this came pretty quickly in good condition. Um, and I haven't had any problems with it. I did do a unboxing review, so you can go check that out if you wanted to see um, how it came. So the first thing I want to go over is the red wax. I um, do not use this red wax anymore. Uh, one of the problems was on some of these, if you can see, I'll zoom in. I have some of the drills are very like pointy on top and when I was using the wax it would kind of almost pull out and I was constantly trying to put it back in. So what I use instead is this scotch uh, mounting putty and this works really really well and you put it in the same way, you just tear off like a piece of it and you kind of just put it in and it lasts and it works really well. I like it better than the wax. The other thing that I've learned is in here, I, I do this a lot, well, kind of like just to relax. I'm not always as careful as I probably should be. I usually have like the TV on, so I'm kind of half paying attention, half paying attention to the TV. So another tip that I have is to kind of do, if you have a large section of the same color, to do it in what they call a checkerboard pattern. And if you can see, I did that here. Um, so you just kind of go every other in a checkerboard pattern. So here I have here, and as you can see, the putty works really well. And you just kind of do a checkerboard pattern so that you can fill in, because sometimes when there's pretty, the dots are full or like the symbol covers the whole thing, um, you have to make sure that you cover it completely. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go back in and, you know, with your hand and redo the whole thing. So once you get like some filled in, then you would just go and fill in, you know, once you have your checkerboard, then you would just go in and fill in the spots. The other kind of tip I've learned since doing it is sometimes, um, I'm going to put this, sometimes they, you will pick up doubles. A lot of them will be stuck together. And one of the ways to help with if they're stuck together is to just take like another tray or something else flat and hard. And you can kind of just put it on and you can just kind of flatten it out and those ones that are stuck together will generally um, unstick and you can put it in here and you know then you don't have them stuck together. Of course now they're stuck to my pad. And that works really good for getting them unstuck. I have seen where people talk about um, having like if they're sticky or something to use baby powder and pour some baby powder over there. Uh, I've never done that and, and I've never had that problem. Another tip I have is if for some reason you don't have a sticky spot in here, you can use just a glue stick and go over your spot that may have the adhesive that's taken off for whatever reason and you can just use any kind of a glue stick and I've heard that works well. I haven't yet had that problem so I haven't had to use the glue stick but I heard that works well. Another thing is sometimes people complain about getting like um, in the edges. I'll show you here like um, where there may be extra glue if you have a problem you can always put like washi tape over it um, or put baby powder on that part and that way it won't be sticky anymore. Again, mine came out pretty good, so I haven't had any issues. The last thing I want to show you is other questions that I've had regarding, and I will do an update when I get more of this done, to show what it looks like. Because one of the things I liked about this was that it was supposed to be very three-dimensional, and so far I don't see that 3D kind of coming out, and I'll, but I will, um, let's see, you know, I don't really see that 3D coming out, but we'll see how it goes when I've gotten more into it. And then the other thing was, I wanted to quickly go over on my iPad. People have asked, where can you get a custom or square drill? Where's a good place to buy? And again, I will put a link to the AliExpress store where I've gotten this one. And I will also show another quick um, site that seems to be very, very popular. 
is the Paint with Diamond site and I'll just do a quick overview of that because they seem to have everything there and they're constantly having sales. And I was looking just recently and they seem to have a 75% off sale which is um, a really good sale. They have free two day shipping now available. I think you have to spend so much money, maybe like $50 to get that and up to 75% off of everything with free gifts on select orders. Um, and the thing I liked about this site is that they have the most beautiful pictures and they have the square drill but their pictures are beautiful they sell all the accessories um, and they do the customs so they have customs and they also ship some of them ship from the US so some of them ship from China and some ship from the US ships from US custom paint with diamonds full drill they also have crystal limited edition crystals um, which are, um, I kind of like to try the crystals. Collections, right? So, you know, if you go through, they have all their collections. They're dumb. I'm not going to go through them because they have literally thousands of them. But I just really like the pictures. They have the most beautiful pictures. They do the square drill, the full drill, the partials, the round drills. Like, they seem to have, like, everything. Um, I really think the multi-panel would be kind of neat to try. I like the multi-panels. Um, here's some, you can see how they have like, um, they're pretty cool. Um, and the sale price is there. I'm assuming, you know, depending on how many panels, they're going to be all different prices. Just make sure that when you do click on it, you know, you are clicking to see you get what size, you know, you check what size that you want because there's going to be different prices because they come in all different sizes. Um, so when you pick on one, like it says $14.99 right here, but that's for a certain size. So when you go through, you can pick, you know, a 40 by a 50, which would be, you know, on sale for $30. And then you would also look and see, is it square drill? Is it coming round drill? Is it partial? Is it a full? So just be careful. And if you have bought from this site, like I said, I've, I haven't heard any bad reviews. If you know, you've had any issues, put a comment down. Um, this is the site that kind of pops up everywhere when you're on Facebook. They're pretty well known and um, I seems to be a good company. So if you're interested, I will put a link to them. Um, but and again, you can go on Wish, you can go on Facebook. There are so many different, um, there are so many different companies that sell these you know just read reviews I always say read the reviews to see what other people think of when they buy it before you buy all right so I will do an update when I get more of my peacock done and thank you so much for watching have a great day